Hi, I'm Carrie Karsh, and today I'm making homemade waffles with my good friend Mike Saubert. He's Ken Moore's director of industrial design and the inventor of the Ovation Stand Mixer. Welcome, Mike. Thank you, Carrie. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. So could you tell me a little bit about how this beauty came to life? Absolutely. So about 10 years ago, my daughter and I got up early one Sunday morning, okay. and uh, she said, Dad, hey, let's make Grandma's waffles. And as my daughter was working on the stand mixer, she was complaining, you know, oh, pouring everything in the side was really kind of difficult. Because oh, yeah. there's got to be a way to, you know, fix that. And hence, the idea was born. And here we are today, about to make Grandma's homemade waffles. So we're going to start off with their grandmother's kind of secret ingredient and the secret way she makes this. You want to tell me a little bit about that? You have to beat the egg white stiff and it just creates a light and airy waffle. So that's her trick, which mm -hmm. is great because what do you know, we have our handy dandy egg separator. separator. Right. Go ahead and put that in. Okay. And I will do our first cracking for you. These are chilled eggs, so they're going to retain that nice stiff peaks that we're going to be looking for. So I just always want to crack on the counter and then gently place the egg over the top here. Our nice little egg yolk. So we got two more of those to do. So we got all of our egg whites going right down here into the bottom of the bowl. I'm just gonna lift that up. Keep our egg yolks for later because I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with those in a minute, but I'm gonna go ahead and move this over here. Now we wanna turn this on. So to make stiff egg whites, we're gonna start off a little slow. And then we're gonna start moving. Start trucking on down the road, right? Full throttle. Full throttle. Look at that. I think we got ourselves some stiff peaks here. Just going to take that and look up. And look at that. Stays straight up. Doesn't fall. Right. So we're going to put that to the side. And then we're going to put the rest of our ingredients in here and make okay. some waffles. So why don't you go ahead and start with the, the flour because we'll do okay. dry and then we'll do our wet, right? We're gonna need one and three quarters cups of all-purpose flour in here. And it makes it just so much easier because we have the splash guard on it. So nothing goes on the counter, everything stays in the bowl. We've got some baking powder. Baking powder. And a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. Okay, perfect. I've got those egg yolks that we had separated mm -hmm. earlier, so mm -hmm. I just want to beat them up just a little bit. Do you want to go ahead and turn that on like a low speed sure. for me just to kind of get it going? All right, so this is a little bit of canola oil. Now I'm just going to go ahead and pour this right over our dry mix, okay? Right. Mm -hmm. And you can see everything you're doing right through that beautiful hole right there. mix this for a couple of minutes because the more that you mix anything with flour in it, there's gluten in there, so it'll start to get stiff. So all we're doing this is to mix it to combine. Okay, so we grabbed our egg whites from the fridge. Mm -hmm. Nice and stiff peaks in here. All we're going to do is put in our egg whites, one big scoop, and then we're going to slowly fold them into this batter that we just made. I just want to go around like that. So we'll turn the bowl and fold at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to just put this over here. I've got a little cooking spray. I think I'm just going to spray it like that. One third cup goes in each little pocket over here. And we're going to let the Kenmore waffle maker just do the rest of the magic for us. So I got my first four. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That is just gorgeous. Beautiful. Since this is your grandmother's recipe, I'm going to go ahead and give you the very first bite. Here it goes. Here it goes. Mmm. Yeah? Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. Well, thank you again so much, Michael. We really appreciated you coming in and talking about the ovation and, of course, sharing your grandmother's recipe with us. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you guys so much. We hope you enjoyed this recipe. And for more recipe ideas, you can subscribe to us on our Kenmore YouTube channel or check us out on kenmore.com livemore. Take care, everybody.